sorry, I just announced that that was the end of all the oldies voices, but now we have one person who's going to speak for the next generation, and I do think that we should honor that voice. So thank you. All right. Thank you so much for this opportunity to speak this evening. Thank you so much, each and every one of you, for being here. Um, it's quite an honor to share the stage with such, such esteemed guests and um, amazing other voices that represent a lot of important fields in our world. Uh, my name is Shuteska Tonatiu. I'm 15 years old. Um, this is not my first time at the United Nations. <clears throat> I've been on the front lines of, uh, of the climate movement for the last 10 years of my life. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, so I've, been, I've been in this for a while, you know? And um, I've seen a lot in my years. And, um, and so my, my entire life I knew that, that the world that I was born into was falling apart. The world that your generation was leaving me was falling apart. You know, I saw ice caps falling into our oceans. I saw people living in extreme poverty while others lived in extreme wealth. I saw uh, sexism and racism all over the world. I saw people that don't have access to clean drinking water. I saw species disappearing right in front of our eyes. I saw people suffering from climate change all over the planet. Island nations disappearing into the ocean. So this is the kind of world that my generation is being left with. And last year at COP21, for the first time in history, we were able to come together and agree upon something, agree upon a document that is now being signed. So for me, it was one of the most hopeful moments. Because when we can come together like this and set aside everything that separates us, everything that causes adults to argue, and we can be here together to fight for a just and sustainable planet for my generation and every generation to come. Now that is a noble cause. We're not fighting just for climate justice or, or just for gender equality or you know, just for you know, development in, in underdeveloped nations. We are fighting for a better planet to leave to my generation. Because when we look at the planet today, you ask yourself, what kind of legacy am I leaving to my children? To future generations, what kind of legacy are you passing on? What happened at COP21 was amazing. It was a huge first step. It really should have happened 21 years ago, but we got it now. And this is what we have, and this is what we have to work with. It can only go up from here. There is so much hope among the crisis. What better time to be alive than today? I have not lost hope because when we lose hope, we turn our backs on everyone who has already lost their lives. We turn our backs on everyone who is already suffering. So we must keep the hope alive. We must stand up in the United Nations, in our streets, in our communities, in your countries to fight for justice, to stand for a better planet. So it's easy to be like, well, you know, United Nations, they're going to make a difference and they're going to solve these problems. But at the same time, as people, as citizens and as individuals, this is our planet. This is our only home. It is our responsibility to take this hope that we feel today, that we will feel tomorrow while we sign this agreement, bring it back to our countries, back to our homes, back into our communities, and spread this love, this passion, and this hope for a better planet to every generation to come. And I've been fighting on this on the side of, of my generation for a really long time. So I'm asking each and every one of you to stand with me, to stand with us, and believe in the love, light, beauty, peace, justice, and sustainability that we can bring into a better world by creating the solutions we want to see it is up to us. We are writing history. We are creating our legacy. And the power is in our hands. Thank you. Yeah.